157th time's the charm. You know, the more you keep track of the days, the longer they seem. Oh. I've got a handsaw. I've got a handsaw. The best matchup. I mean, I'll tell you how it is. I'll, I'll tell see you later with that handsaw. All right. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. <sighs> yeah. Hmm? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll just do it tomorrow. You sure? Mm -hmm. Four, eight, nine. <laughs> you gotta be getting close by now. No? Well, how much are cameras anyway? Couldn't you just get one of them crappy camcorders with the, the screen that pops out on the side? My debut is gonna be an 80s porno. Mm -hmm. Cameras are crazy expensive. <laughs> Let alone one that you can actually like make something with. I'll probably just end up putting it towards a house or something. You should. Anywhere's better than living with your mom. Then I'll just move in with your sister. Dude, chill. <laughs> Everyone's here, dude. Hey, hey, that's how it works.
part, buddy. <laughs>
he worries about everything. He worries I'm going to hook up with a bunch of guys. He worries that I'll never talk to him again. He worries that you and I just came here to make out. <laughs> he just worries. So, you guys aren't doing well. No, we're doing fine. He just gets jealous. I mean, I do too. I get it. It's just been weird lately. I think he thought that I'd have my time away, hate it, and come running back to him, but I can't stay here. We're probably going to break up. It's pretty much inevitable. So, what? You guys are just gonna enjoy the summer and then just be done? I don't know. If that, I don't know. I'm making it out to seem all that bad, but it really isn't. I love Jason. It's just that sometimes it... You don't want to hear about all this. You would really listen to everything I told you. Someone has to. You have shitty friends. <laughs> I want to see everyone as much as I can before I leave. Um, Jason, my shitty friends. You. I want to soak it all up before I leave again. Part of you likes being back here. I know it does. <laughs> I didn't think I missed it until I got back here, but I did. I'll just never admit it. I want to make the summer a great one, so I actually have a reason to miss it. Well, I'm a busy guy. I'll have to see if I can fit you in every now and then. You go to work and then go home. You have the most free time of anyone I know. Wow. Right to the heart. <laughs> Am I wrong? What do you do? Well, I wake up, I go to work, I go for a run, maybe go to Nick's, I get a milkshake, and I burn something. I, I fit a lot into my day. Right, I forgot you still have to do all your little workouts. Well, I mean, if you're gonna get shot down by all the girls, might as well look good doing it. Oh, I, no, Allison, I, I didn't mean it like that. I was just making a joke. I wasn't talking about- No, it's okay. You're fine. I would never mean to call you out or anything. I know, I just feel bad. No, don't, you were just being honest. But there it went. Uh, I don't even remember it. Poof. Gone. Uh, what were we talking about? I don't even know. Seriously, Allie. I want this summer to be good just as much as you do. Okay. You're right. And it's gonna be a great one. Oh, absolutely. Best one yet. Shouldn't you be in bed? <laughs> it's just one of those nights, so I'm getting work done. How was it? Honestly, I think she really wants to spend a lot of time together. I didn't realize how much I missed her. Oh, well, that's good. I, I know you did. What is it? Well, I just remember how hard it hit you when things with her weren't what you thought. I just worry. That's all. You know you don't have to worry. I know. Good night, doll. Good night.
So what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just hanging out with Allison again. Oh, true, sorry. I forgot that's what you do every night of the week now. My bad. And you're gonna go home, jerk off, have a drink, and go to bed. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and you're going off to see the same girl day in and day out. And you're not gonna tell her how you really feel. Ooh, he fights back. Seriously, Dill. You can't just keep acting like she's your buddy or whatever. You're not fooling anyone. She has a boyfriend, Nick. Well, I heard that's on the rocks. Maybe, but they're still together. Plus, if going back to college is what's hurting her relationship right now, I doubt that she'd want to trade it for another one. Maybe that's what she wants. You don't know. I do. Wouldn't it be worth it just to be with her for the summer? Even if that's all it was? She doesn't like me, but let's just say she did. It's not worth digging myself into that hole just to wish her goodbye at the end of the summer. I don't know. I see how she is with you. It ain't nothing. I don't know what it is, but it ain't nothing. It's gonna have to be. You're impossible, you know that? Whoa, hey, slow down, what's going on? Oh, Allison, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, just hang tight, I'll be over in a second, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. I knew this was going to happen, but I can't think about not having him around. I hate this. Whose idea was it? Both of ours, I guess. He's been all I've known for the last two years. I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. Nobody likes change. Sometimes the right thing to do is usually the hard one. Do you think you made the wrong call? No. I don't know. I don't think so. I've been telling myself that I want to end things, or need to. And he agreed. This was the plan. And I knew it was going to hurt. I just hate this. And then I'm going to leave, and I'm not going to have him, and then you'll be gone, and I'm not going to have you either, and... I'm just scared. I'm so scared. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here with all my free time, ready to pick up if you need to call. Why? Why what? Why are you going to be here? I don't know where else I'd be. Making movies, going somewhere, trying to do something? I... We don't have to talk about this right now. No, I want to. I don't want to talk about me anymore. You can't stay here, Dylan. That directing stuff is cool. It really is. It's just... It's a pipe dream. It's not realistic. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Not everybody can just... You can. You can do anything you want to do, Dylan. I know that for a fact. I can't even afford a camera let alone film school. You'll figure it out. Don't let it be just a pipe dream, Dylan. You owe yourself more than that. I woke up today dreaming it might be my last Then I had a wave of memories of What gives? Allison and Jason broke up last night. No. Mm -hmm. Stop. Mm, now's your chance, Dylan. Look, life is handing you a silver platter right now. No, no, Look, no, all no, you gotta, no. I was just telling you because Allison's super upset and down in the dumps and I don't really know what to do now. What, you think I do? I don't know, I'm desperate. I thought maybe you'd have some ideas. All right. Well, I was gonna have something tonight. Maybe we could do a bonfire, get some of our friends over, distract her from everything for a little while, yeah? Look at you. That, I think that's perfect. I'll tell her when I'm off. 
That idea is on the house. Next one's twenty dollars. Okay. But by the way, do uh, you think Ryan's gonna be there? Ooh, yeah, probably. Oh come on, dude. She's had a thing for you since like the sixth grade. You don't have to be afraid of her. From my past. If you end up wanting to drink, uh, I can drive us home. <laughs> nah, you're good. I don't want to get all drunky crybaby on everyone. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, you sure you're up for this? Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like I'm not going to have much of a choice. <laughs> There's the life of the party! <laughs> it's not gonna be much life left after this! <laughs> oh, oh, milady. What a gentleman. Maybe I should leave you two alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you guys decided to come out tonight. And I'm glad you got the pyromania out of your system. Great. Isn't it? <laughs> Probably even better up close. <laughs> yeah. Here I am. Hey, Ryan. You haven't been avoiding me, have you? Uh, no, no. i just enjoying the fire. So you wouldn't mind taking a shot? I, I really don't think a shot's good for right now. Oh, come on. Live it up. Nick's I... going to do one, too. Over here. Nick's been telling me you still want to make movies. I feel like you've been saying that since elementary school. <laughs> yeah. What kind of movies would you make? I, I, I don't know. Maybe like a drama or... I, I really just don't know right now. Well, I think you'll be great at whatever you do. That's, that's, that's really sweet, Ryan. I, seriously, but I, I have to go do something. I'm sorry, it was great talking to you, but I have to go. Okay. Hey, why'd you run off? What's going on? I'm fine. Can I ask you something? Uh-oh. And be honest. Yeah, anything. Done. God. How many girls have you been with since I left? And don't say none. none. Don't say that. What am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to say that I went from girl to girl trying to get some kind of temporary fix or something? You know me. I just would have thought that... You would have thought what? I don't know, that you would have moved on or gotten with somebody or something. I didn't. But look at you. You're handsome and you're sweet and you're constantly there you and You told me no, Allison. I put everything on the line for you and you told me no. You can't say no and then say I'm getting over you the wrong way. That's not fair. You broke my heart when you left. That's not something I could just push down. You could at least act a little bit appreciative that I haven't thrown it all out the window like everyone else would have. Like Jason probably would have, just to fill some sort of gap. I was all for you. I was all in. 
that's not something I could get over just like that. Look, Allison, I, I didn't mean to bring all this up. No, I'm sorry. I should go. No, don't. We should go back there. It was fun. You can. I have to go. I'm sorry. Allison, I... No, I get it. I'm leaving, Dylan. I look a little closer, and there's like a whole ass hedgehog in there, like spikes and all. A porcupine? Okay, well, whatever it was, it was. God damn it. Hey, Dylan! Should we go get him? He lives like 10 miles away. No, no. Just best to let him walk when he's like this. I'll get him tomorrow. driving. You know, I just changed the policy on this vehicle and moping hours are strictly nine to five now. I'm afraid he just missed it. There she is. Dylan, I know last night beat you up pretty bad, but you're not going to solve anything sitting up in your room all day like that. I feel like I blew any chance I would have had with her. Last time we talked, you didn't seem to think you had a chance with her. Well, if I did, it's gone. You didn't do a bad thing, Dylan. I think you've had a lot to say to her ever since she's come back home, and last night might not have been the best time to say it all, but hey, at least he said it. I wish I had him. Dylan, you said what you needed to say to her. There's nothing wrong with that. Dylan! You can't bank your happiness on whether or not Allison feels the same way you do. <laughs> you have to be okay without relying on someone that's gonna be wishy-washy all the time. Think about Ryan. She would drop everything to be with you. Hell, a lot of girls would. And you're busy chasing the girl that wouldn't. I like Ryan. She's sweet, but I don't want to just settle for someone. I don't want an easy relationship for the sake of it being easy. Allison's the only person that doesn't just want to sit around here. Everyone else wants to do the same thing over and over. I just don't want to do that. I want to do something with myself. 
I don't want to be stuck in comfort and live out an easy rest of my life. I want to get out. Allison's the only person that understood that. And I fucked it up. Nick, look, I, I wasn't trying look, to say... If you two want to do something, fine. Cool, I get it. But just because you've got these big dreams of wanting to be someone doesn't mean everyone else has to. No one is less than you, Dylan. Perfectly happy settling down and working and having a nice, easy, comfortable life right here. Just because you hate it here so much doesn't mean I'm wrong for wanting to stay. Nick, I wasn't trying to say that you were less than me. I was... Look, I hope you two figure things out. And when you do, I hope you figure out what you want for yourself. What happened? I blew up on her. I told her she turned me down and that she couldn't dictate how I got over and I don't know, I was just a drunk and an idiot. Well, I'm gonna block the drunk out for a second. Do you actually regret what you said or more how it came out? I'm not sure. <sighs> Dylan, you're allowed to be upset with her. Love is about sharing how you feel, not sugarcoating things to make someone else okay. Now, the way in which you say those things, that may need a little work. Dylan, listen to me. I know you love this girl, but you can't let her feelings for you dictate your happiness. Deja vu. I heard this twice today. <laughs> well, maybe there's something to it. I think you like that she's going away. But she's not your key out of here, Dylan. You are. You have to figure out how to go after your own life and let her go after hers. You can love her, you just can't rely on her. How much do I owe you? <laughs> Family discount. And if I had my guess, you'll hear from her again. Hey, Allison, uh, I shouldn't have- No, I'm sorry. But you want to meet me at Roaring Point? When? Tonight? Yeah. I figured this is the one place we hadn't gone all summer. I didn't want to miss out. Yeah. It looks nice. So I heard you walked all the way home after Nex. Oh god, who told you? <laughs> I called Nick to check if you were okay. He said you did. I'm like 90% sure it's the alcohol walking home instead of me. <laughs> you could have called me. I thought you were angry. No. I wasn't. Not after you left. Allison, I'm sorry. No, I... stop saying that. I'm sorry. Dylan, you have been there for me at the drop of a hat for as long as I've known you. When you told me how you felt before I left last summer, it wasn't easy for me. I need you to know that. Allison, I... No, Dylan, listen. On the plane back, a big part of me wanted to turn around. All I could think about was all the years we've had and everything we've done together. When I got off the plane, I realized that I hadn't thought about Jason the whole trip and I hated myself for it. Then I felt guilty. I told Jason I had been having doubts, but he convinced me to stay together for the school year and you saw how that turned out. I didn't want to tell you everything going on in my head while I knew I was staying at school. It was where I needed to be. It still is. But you're right. It's not fair for me, of all people, to judge how you got over that. 
That was wrong, and I'm sorry. What do you think would have happened if you stayed? I'm not sure. All I know is that a part of me was hoping you'd be at the other side of the airport waiting to take me back. And if you did, I might have gone. As much as I know, I need to be away. Dylan, in all the years I've known you, I've never gotten bored of you. You're the best person I know, and I'm not sure I'm ever going to find anyone better. And a person like that, a person like you, can't stay here. You have to get out of here, Dylan. I... I just... I just don't think I can. I don't have the money. I don't have a camera. I... It, I just don't think it's possible. Before you say no, I got a scholarship this year that covers basically all of my tuition. I'm practically going for free this last year, so take that and put it towards buying a camera. Allison, I thank you, but I can't take this. This is your money. I, I appreciate it, I really do. But you're going to need this when you graduate. You're just going to need this. <laughs> you're the worst. But if you're not going to take it, there's something else you can do for me. Yeah? I'm going to need a ride to the airport when I leave. I want you to be the last person I see before I go. Well, I'll have to see. I have a very busy schedule. Dylan! Just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll take you. I think you could just show up on my door, my favorite drink, and you could win me over? Because you can. <laughs> Come on, get in here. So you're dropping her off tomorrow? Hmm. From that whole beach conversation. Sounds like she feels something for you too. You know, this might be the perfect opportunity to get everything off your chest. I'm not sure. I mean, you were right. I can't let someone else dictate my happiness. So what's the plan? No plan. I'm just gonna drop her off at the airport and see what comes out of my mouth. So you're winging it? Dude, that's the best plan of all. I thought you were gonna be mad. Hmm. I was. Maybe like five seconds. But I know what you were trying to say. And as much as I hate to admit it, you're one of the only people around here that I actually like hanging out with. <laughs> Did I? <laughs>
Thanks for this. For what? I thought we were splitting the check. <laughs> Shut up. I mean for driving me. How are you feeling? Sad. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna miss our sleepy little town. So it won you over? Maybe a little. It was a good summer. <laughs> but you look tired. We should probably get back on the road. Hey, sleepyhead. Wake up. We're here. Oh, God. How long was I out? Long enough to start snoring. You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, consider yourself lucky. Only my favorites get to hear that. I'm... I'm honored. Hey. Hey. I actually scheduled your crying time for next week, so why don't you call me then and we can talk now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna kill it this year. And you're gonna kill it as an next world class director. <laughs> I should get my stuff. Thanks so much for <laughs> everything. I'm gonna miss you so much. Dylan? I'm gonna miss you too, Allison. Oh, here I go. Let me know when you get there. I will. Allison! Dylan, what are you so take my hand and fly with me to a place where there's no dying me and you me and you so take my hand and fly with me to a place where there's no dying me and you me and you you too. More than you know. Well, I guess I should probably go. Let me know when you get there. I will. Hey, Dill. If you're reading this, it means I've left. And it was probably the hardest thing I've had to do. If you're reading this, it also means you did not convince me to stay. Thank you. Because I would have. And that is not where I need to be. I have so much love for you, Dylan. I don't think I'll ever meet someone like you. And a part of me feels like an idiot for walking away from that again. But hey, if I'm supposed to find you again, I'm sure I will. And if not, I'll be the first one in the theater opening day to watch your first breakout hit. You've made this summer one to remember. And you know what? I think I might actually miss our sleepy little town. Wow, who knew I had it in me? Be all that you want to be, Dill. 
I know you can. And I'll be cheering you on states away. This summer was the best one yet. And it might even make a good movie. Who knows? Love, Allison. Are you sure this is okay? Uh, yeah, for the millionth time, I already talked to the boss. And what, I'm just supposed to be you? I mean, in a sense, yeah, but you can honestly be anybody. Don't touch that. If this ever goes anywhere, I better be getting a cut. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? All right. Let's just get it over with. All right. What, I'm just supposed to walk in? Yeah, just walk. Simple enough. All right. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right. Hourglass time. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>